says money can't buy a championship. I'm bringing the sack to the pack. In 1993, Reggie White claimed a higher power persuaded him to sign in Green Bay, along with a $17 million contract. Both got their money's worth and a title. The big somebody trophy is coming home. Deion Sanders became a rich man and a champion twice over in 1994 and 95. Prime time became the final piece for both the 49ers and Cowboys' most recent Super Bowl runs. And Dallas, your Cowboys are world champions again. In 2006, the Saints signed quarterback Drew Brees to a blockbuster deal, and four years later, he led them to a championship. The Saints have won the Super Bowl. You won a Super Bowl. So did you. But a big signing is no guarantee of playoff success. The number nine worst free agent signing of all time. The Lions sign Scott Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, Scott Mitchell. Well, I don't think that move worked too well, did it? What can you say about Scott Mitchell other than bad things? Nothing good's going to come out of me. For Scott Mitchell to even get that starting gig, I mean, what did he do to earn that gig? He backed up Dan Marino. He held the clipboard. I guess he, like, walked down the sideline without tripping. Scott Mitchell got his big break in the NFL because Dan Marino broke down in 1993. Scott Mitchell had... A few really nice games for the Miami Dolphins in relief of Dan Marino. Mitchell looks into the middle, steps into the pocket. He throws the end zone. Man open touchdown. Takes a tour around the league and goes to see a few teams, signs with the Lions. I could have gone to a lot of places, and I chose to come here because I thought uh, this team had the potential to win and win now. The Lions may have had potential, but they also wrote the biggest check. Casting a role in a movie, and you wanted a quarterback, it would be him. Big. What a big man he is. 6'6, 230 pounders, Scott Mitchell. You know, here's a guy everyone thought had promise. Came in and played well through a beautiful pass. Right there to gun it into the numbers. Once the light shined on him brightly, you began to see his flaws and his faux pas. He is not a really accurate passer. In the clutch. Mitchell, near side. first two seasons, our number nine worst free agent rode Barry Sanders to the postseason. However, the playoffs proved to be no free ride. Here goes Mitchell. You know, Scott Mitchell just gets totally destroyed in history. And I know he wasn't that good. And I know he whined a lot. Scott Mitchell pleading his case with whatever official he could get to listen. But he wasn't as bad as everybody says he was. People forget just how good Scott Mitchell's season was in 1995. Mitchell with a drop to throw, looking left all the way. Fires open, slow, touchdown! He had 32 touchdowns. He had only 12 picks. Our play-by-play -play breakdowns, he comes out as the best quarterback, most valuable quarterback in the league. What more do you need to say? He doesn't win any games, or at least not games that matter. This lion went out like a lamb, going 0-2 in two, two playoff starts with five interceptions. All right, he's not the greatest quarterback, and it wasn't the greatest free agent signing, but there's been a lot worse than that. Free agency was better to no one than Scott Mitchell because he never would have been a millionaire in Miami, but he was a millionaire several times over going to the Detroit Lions. 